Hey there, Wootsuit family, it's Ryan here, and as you can see, I'm in a new location, I moved into the new house, and today I want to talk to you about my voice. And when I say voice, I want to talk about it in two different mediums, but ultimately the same kind of thing going on, and that's finding my voice. But first, a story. Back in the day when I was first hired at the bar, I was hired as a karaoke host. And I was hired because I'd won a singing competition. Not because I'm a particularly good singer, in I'm not even trying to be humble there, I'm not a particularly good singer, but I know that within a narrow band of musical genres and vocalists, I can do a half decent job of entertaining the crowd in three to three and a half minute spurts. And as a host, I had to find my voice. I had to find my singing voice, the, the voice that I would use to sing songs anytime and all throughout the night. As well, I also had to find my voice for talking to people in order to keep the night moving. Because as much as a karaoke host is about singing, it's all about a flow. It's about keeping the flow in the bar, reading the, the, the crowd, and reading people's vibe and then matching that in terms of how you're going to host with people. And so my karaoke voice ended up settling somewhere around radio DJ and strip club announcer voice with a little bit of a sarcasm tone there. But that was the voice that I ended up creating. And recently I've been reflecting on the voice that I want to have both for this vlog series as well as my own website, my own blog that I maintain there. So for instance, for my blog, when I first started it up, I thought I was going to be switching careers. I thought I was going to be leaving the world of kind of academia and working in a college system and I thought I was going to go and go to paramedic school and that my blog was going to be my way of kind of journaling the process and discussing the things that I was learning along the way. The, the whole tagline was, it was the paramedic's notebook and it was notes and things on what makes me a good paramedic. When I had that initial theme set up, it made sense to have a certain kind of voice and a certain kind of range of topics that I was gonna have, but when I decided not to be a paramedic, I never changed the, the title of the blog. The blog URL is my name, so it's ultimately a website about me, but the the title of the blog and the byline and the original intention behind it has shifted and for over a year now I've been struggling in the back of my mind with this idea of what is the voice that I want this blog to have. I don't really have a, a good through line for the entire blog, a, a real purpose behind it other than these are things that Ryan Huckle thinks about. And I don't necessarily think that's a good voice. It's not a bad voice, don't get me wrong, I mean it's still a unifying theme. But it's not something that I want as a theme. I want something with a little bit more clarity to it, a little bit more purpose to it. And this was something that I had in the back of my mind when Jim and I were doing the, the podcast series, and it's somewhat carried over now into this current vlog series. And perhaps in the vlog, it's even more pronounced because when Jim and I were podcasting, it was a conversation between the two of us. I didn't have to struggle so much for a voice because I could speak as myself. But with the vlog series, Jim and I aren't in that conversation anymore, and so each video is more self-contained in terms of the kind of themes that it has, the kind of tone it has, the kind of feel it has. But here's the thing, even though I would be willing to wager that Jim feels the same thing, on my side of the equation, I'm still not 100% sure what my voice is for this vlog series. And I don't really have a good solution for it. If anything, one of the themes of this vlog and even of my blog is, here's a problem that I'm having and I don't have a solution for it. The only plan that I have for the vlog voice for right now, kind of how I did it for when I was working at the bar as a karaoke host, test out different voices and different personas until I find something that I find very comfortable to, to inhabit, at least on camera. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and don't forget, stay awesome.